looking for a new water, it's always got to be, there's always got to be a fish in there that I want to catch, you know, whether it be something that blows me away or something that's, that's of a particular size and a particular heritage that I want to catch. I mean, generally my sort of water is the sort of burr fields and the you know, sort of larger, lower stock waters that aren't too busy. Um, this one we're on at the minute is, is a little different to what I'm used to, you know, it is quite pressured and it's not particularly big. Um, and there is quite a lot more fishing here than what I'm used to fishing for, but uh, it's nice, I'm, I'm enjoying the challenge. Usually I'll go after one particular fish and then there'll be sort of two or three uh, backup fish in that that, that that I'd also like to catch, uh, but usually it's, it's one big fish. I mean, I have fished some, some waters like Christchurch and Urchester Big Lake, where you've sort of got, you know, a few big ones, you know, half a dozen big ones, and in that sort of situation, I, I generally set myself a target of four out of the six, or, you know, just, just try and catch a few of them, but like I say, most of my fishing is sort of big low stock waters and there will generally be one fish that I want to catch out of that. So yeah, normally it's it's one, but sometimes, you know, it's a few. There's certainly some big fish do have certain areas where they get caught from more often than not. Um, certain areas where they live or, or probably certain areas where they like to feed. Um, there has been fish in the past where captures literally have been random from any sort of swims. You know, Choco was a fine example of that. It, on my three and a half years on there, it, well, I, I can only think of one swim it came from twice. It literally got caught from all over the lake and there was no rhyme and reason to it. So some fish certainly are territorial and, and, and come out from certain areas, whereas other fish are a bit more random. And it, it is useful to know that, but I, I, I generally don't go onto water knowing that I sort of pick that up as I go along. First of all, when I tackle a new water, I, I see what's out there, basically. I see what features are there, I see you know, what the lake bed is predominantly made up of, which is usually silt. Um, and I'll have a lead around and I'll, I'll, I'll look for gravel, I'll look for hard clay areas, I'll look for, for nice little spots on the bushes. Um, generally in the, in, the, in the sort of springtime on less pressured waters, I'll go for sort of shallower features, whether that be a big plateau out in the centre or whether that be right in the edge. Um, whereas later on in the year, you know, little tiny holes in the weed, little silt pockets often produce it after the fish have been caught a few times. So it, it just sort of depends from water to water. You know, I just have a look at the general makeup and, and make a decision from there. It's, it's all about doing a recce and, and just making your mind up in the, in the first few sessions about how a lake could respond to a bit of bait. If everybody's lashing the bait in, then it, it, it might be prudent just to do your own thing, fish a few singles, just to fish over little traps. But then if, if nobody's putting the bait in, then it, it might be an idea just to just to get your timing right and well it in. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong, it's still early in the season now, and I don't think the fish are up for a big hit, so I'm just fishing over little bits of bait at the minute. But I'm sure the time will come at some point in the next few months, whether that's pre-spawning or post-spawning, that they're gonna be up for a big hit. Um, other waters that are, you know, a lower dense, lower density stocked and not as pressured as much, then it's, it's more against you against the fish, and you've. You, you've got to read what the fish are doing. As, as a general rule of thumb, you know, 80% of my fishing, 90% of my fishing, I use two rigs, but I do change things slightly to, to suit where I am and, and, and what the bottom's like and what the fish are doing. I'm on the third session now, uh, and I seem to be doing okay. The first session I did, uh, I just did a quick overnighter just because I didn't have much time, um, but I wanted to get used to the place, and you know, I'd, I'd done a bit of research. I know a few people that are fishing down here, um, spoke to them about a few bits and pieces, and. Uh, you know, with it being the 1st of April, I thought staying on the fish was important, so I must admit I turned up with three chud rigs ready to go. But I soon found out there was next to no weed in here at all, uh, and the fish were moving around a little bit, and I, I learned a lot just from that one overnighter. Um, so I went away, I had two or three days to think about things and think about how I'd approach things on my first proper session, which was last week, and came back with a new idea. Um, and that paid off for me, you know, I, I did all right. You know, I, I took the chuddies off, went back to my standard bottom bait rigs, um, did a lot more leading around than what I normally do in April. Normally I just try and stay on the fish and uh, either present singles or just a bit of bait to them. But you know, because the fish were moving around that much, I felt I could afford to find you know the type of bottom that I wanted to fish over, and I managed to pick up three fish in the end. You know, the first fish off a off a water was uh, 34 pounds 12 ounces, which I was I was really pleased about. Uh, and then I followed it up the following day with a, a double and a 23. And off the back of that, you know, I sat down and had a little bit of a think about how to uh, try and optimise what I'd seen and what I'd caught. And I've come back on my, um, on my third session. Um, I've probably got two nights, I've just done one, I've got another night ahead of me tonight. And I've had three bites, which I'm told is, is really good for, for, for over a 24 hour period on here. 
and I've, I've been really lucky as well. I've had one of my target fish. I've had the uh, the second biggest fish in the lake, the goldfish. At, uh, I'm told it's an all-time high weight for it as well, at 45 pounds 10 ounces, which I'm really, really pleased about. And it's um, it's also a new PB common, um, beat it by one and a half pounds. So um, really, really pleased with how I'm, I'm going. You know, I've done five nights now, had five fish, and, and lost one. So it's uh, it's going really well at the minute, and I hope it continues for a, bit, a little bit longer.